If you're a crypto holder, specifically an altcoin holder, this video has some of the most mind-blowing data in terms of altcoin season. And I'm telling you, this is some of the most critical data I think you can find anywhere right now on YouTube. And it has to do with altcoin season timing as that relates to Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance right now on this chart starting to fall. The question I'm exploring in this video, is this the moment? Is this the altcoin season trigger? Because right now, if you look at last cycle, Around this time, on the daily, on Bitcoin Dominance, it certainly was the trigger. Hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. We're going to talk about time frame, specifically even why the next 30 days are important and why to be a little bit careful when tracking this. But let's start here on the Zoomed Out Weekly. Bitcoin Dominance, I'm not sure if you know or not. We've been tracking this red rectangle. It's last Bitcoin Dominance swing high, last cycle, 2020, to Bitcoin Dominance swing low, and it's just this pullback that we've seen. This is a weekly chart. This is years and years and cycles of data, but you can just see higher highs, higher lows on the weekly. Right now, Bitcoin revisiting this lower high green channel. It's the 786, around 65, 66% to the, se to the 618, around 60%. This is the resistance area we've been waiting for. Bitcoin hitting it right now on the week, one day, eight, hour le eight hours left, actually seeing resistance there. Last cycle, at this similar Fibonacci area, Bitcoin fell into altcoin season. This was altcoin season basically beginning at the beginning of January 2021. So if we're looking at this chart, the similar time frame wise area for altcoin season is this purple line that I have here. It's the beginning of December. So another month. So let's explore this. And we're going to dig into the daily chart and Bitcoin dominance now as it relates to last cycle. And we're going to get an idea of why we might need to wait another month. But before we even do that, I just want to, I want to lay a, a brief groundwork here. I discussed in a video the other day, you know, Bitcoin was around 74,000, just above 74. This blue line, we were talking about this being like the trigger area for altcoin season. And right now, if you look at the daily chart, Bitcoin is there. Bitcoin has hit that blue line. So we're going to dissect that blue line and do a little bit of short-term Bitcoin analysis after we talk about these Bitcoin dominance charts. What I want to point out to you in terms of the Bitcoin dominance chart is, right now, Bitcoin, post-Bitcoin having this white line back here, 201 days post-Bitcoin having is when this started dropping. And you can just see we're on the third day of it falling right now. That's notable because, yes, zoomed out, we're looking at so many similarities. And we do this across so many different charts and data points and different perspectives on these cycles. But the similarities right now, post-Bitcoin having compared to last cycle and the cycle before are so similar. But last cycle, it was 200, around 237 days post-Bitcoin having where Bitcoin dominance right at this Fibonacci started falling. So that gives us 237 days last cycle compared to this cycle so far, 201 days. That gives us around a month around a month. So that 30 days or so plays into what's happening right now. And I think we can start using as bullish or bearish confirmations for all coins. We have the 50 day down here. We have a very standard looking higher low, meaning it's been higher lows for months on this Bitcoin dominance chart. Is this going to be a higher low? And Bitcoin actually goes higher. So don't be so immediately faked out and fooled by this, by this move right here at the Fibonacci. This could be it. This could be the trigger, everybody. But we have to anticipate a potential another swing high, a power burst for Bitcoin. That could be in an environment where this week, maybe it's a red week for crypto, Bitcoin's falling, and altcoins could likely be falling even more. If that happens, Bitcoin dominance will start rising. Maybe Bitcoin dominance just has an absolute explosive move through this trend line, which we're about to talk about in just a minute, and it's just outperforming altcoins. If that's the case, well then the Bitcoin dominance chart will have another swing high likely. So these are things we have to anticipate. The time frame is there. We still have 30 days until altcoin season from a historical perspective would begin. And if we look at the altcoin charts, this is what it's looking like. A little bit of patience, I would say, is ne necessary. If we look at uh, last cycle when Bitcoin dominance did begin fall falling, notice altcoin season beginning January 2021, right there. And it was altcoins, and this is basically the market cap of altcoins, 
This is excluding Bitcoin. It's excluding Ethereum. They took off. So where is our January 2021 move going to be? Do we have another month? Are we going to just see a slow grind up for altcoins to get to this trend line? And will it be the breakout, right? Could this be in a month? Could it be next week? This is what I'm watching on the altcoin chart, but the trigger is getting close on Bitcoin charts. This is what we're looking at. It's the neckline. That blue line is a neckline of a massive inverse head and shoulders that we've been talking about on this YouTube channel. And you can just see when you're looking at a pattern like this, and can I just stop for a second, everybody, if you're out there, I know there's a silent majority of you that don't comment and you're just like, this is, this, this is crazy. Not just my videos, but what you're seeing in crypto markets, the repetition it's never a guarantee for us. We know that. But the repetition and the data, how it comes together is absolutely mind-blowing. And the timing right now with what's happening, even with the Trump administration coming on, on board in like a couple of months, the timing of, of what is so bullish for crypto and we're about to get a, a multi-year inverse head and shoulder breakout at the neckline, all while this is happening, all at the intersection of a very standard typical altcoin season start? Are you kidding me? This is crazy to me. Again, no guarantees, but this is, in my view, going to, when we look back on these charts, I think it's going to be the trigger for altcoin season. I could be wrong, but I think it's going to be the trigger for altcoin season. Now, in discussing that, it is no surprise that right now, Bitcoin is testing this neckline. So the question is, remember, we have this one month kind of cushion in terms of Bitcoin dominance falling, if it does at the kind of similar time frame as last cycle, we have a 30-month time frame. Anything can happen. Maybe we get the breakout sooner. Maybe all coins outperform. But what if what if there's consolidation in play as we as we kind of finish out this year and we get ready? We're at a massive technical area of resistance. So what if there's consolidation? Bitcoin dominance has another swing high in the next 30 days. We're going to just watch this. For me, this is the most critical area of resistance that we've tracked. I would say almost top top two or three on the YouTube channel over the years. I've been doing the video since 2018. Top two or three resistance areas. Are we getting a throwback? One to mention, I would not be surprised at all if Bitcoin throws back to the upper trend line of this falling broadening wedge. Again, it would be the second throwback. So... From where we are right now, this could be another 12% move for Bitcoin. Not saying it's going to happen or even that I think it will happen, but I am saying if it does, I will not be worried. And if it does, I will not be surprised at all. Now, can Bitcoin find itself in just what is just bull season for Bitcoin? So to, to illustrate that last cycle, November, Bitcoin's breaking the bull market doors, right? And it was just, it was bull season. You can just see how it just, it takes little breaks, right? But it doesn't like dip massive. It just keeps going higher. That's what we're going to, I think, likely see when Bitcoin bull season really starts. And if that's the case, we might get a little bit of consolidation. It could be painful. It could even be like a week or two weeks of just like down and sideways, but no crazy massive dips, right? Just kind of higher highs and higher lows, consolidation. Maybe we wait for the 20 day to pull into Bitcoin again. That's what I'm waiting for. And then the massive move for Bitcoin up and through 80, up and through this neckline area. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm consistently waiting for consolidation, potentially at this lower, uh, this upper trend line. We have the moving averages, the 50, the 20, all down here in the 65 to $70,000 area. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. But maybe Bitcoin just kind of just chills out sideways before going higher. Going to be interesting to see how this next week plays out, but we're going to continue tracking it. One thing I know though is, I shouldn't say I know, but one thing I think is altcoin season is getting very close. Is it next week? Is it a month from now? I don't know, but I think it's getting very close. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.